。哈利波，我们准备好了没有？哈利波。哈利波，你们都准备好了吗？我们可以开始。准备好。别说话。嗯。Om Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya。Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Nema Doren Shohua, Sheshan Janka. Okay. Vanchaka Upata Rubyas Chakri Pasindu Bhai Vacha Patita Nam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaha. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Shrimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschacha Desha Tarine Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, we want to explain about the significance of initiation in this Krishna conscious process. So, buddy. We want to explain the significance. Hare Krishna. So Krishna consciousness is a very scientific process. If we follow the process step by step, we will come to the desired result. We will get perfection. We have to understand we are all spirit souls, but we're living here in the material world. In a material body. The material body, the material body has senses, material senses, and they constantly demand attention and give us a lot of trouble. So, buddhi, Haribo, so buddhi,
So Krishna conscious process is training all of us to control the mind and the senses. Our mind and senses are always agitating us, giving us a lot of problems. Our tongue likes to talk so much. We like to speak all the time. When we're not speaking, we like to eat. So we spend a lot of time just eating and talking. And often our talking is only useless talk of no importance. Just like in a village, when people meet in the village, they will talk to each other, especially the ladies, they will talk. And they like to talk about other people They like to talk about different things which are happening, what happened to this person, what happened to that person, where did they go, what did they do. And so in this way they pass their whole day and the whole day the whole day become days become years and years become a lifetime. And at the time of death, they give up the material body and they have to take another body. They have to come back again in the material world. Next life, they may become a bird and live in the tree. And you can hear the birds talking and how they have so many things to say to each other. Then there are dogs. They also have a lot to say to each other. You can hear them speaking, barking. So, people, although we have, may have the human form of life, our talking is not much different from the talking of the animals. We don't always know how to make the best use of the human form of life. Hum the human form of life is very rare. The The Vedas tell us there are 8,400,000 different species of life. And from these, only 400,000 are human species. So we're very fortunate to have a human body. 
We enjoy many facilities in the human form of life which are not there in the animal species. We have, we have schools to go for education, we have hospitals to go for medical treatment. Our living standards are much better than the animals. So we are given more facilities, but we have more responsibility. We have to recognize the responsibility of human life. We have been very fortunate because we have the association of devotees. There are many people, but not all the people have association with devotee. In the association of devotees, we learn what is the proper standard of living and behaving. We learn, for example, proper cleanliness. We learn about bathing every day and changing the cloth, changing the dress. We learn about being merciful and being kind to other living entities. Not killing animals involves also not eating animal food. We eat fruits and vegetables and grains. We don't eat meat and fish and egg. Then we learn about austerity, practicing humility, genuine humility is an austerity. Just like all of you to sit there and be quiet and listen to me is a great austerity for you. You must be thinking, how long is he going to speak? When is he going to stop? Are you thinking like that? <laughs> no reply. <laughs> okay, so we learn also about truth, truthfulness. We should be truthful, we should not lie, we should be honest. In this age, it's very rare that people have these kind of qualities. So, coming to Krishna consciousness, becoming a devotee of Krishna, 
we understand about these four qualities. Right? Do you remember the four qualities? Cleanliness, mercy, austerity, and truthfulness. So, just having these four qualities, that is not really bhakti yoga. That is only the stand, that is the level of civilized living. We encourage all people, everybody, to follow these kind of principles. But we want to go further. Because you may follow the four principles, that is not going to take you back to Godhead. We have to do a bit more than just simply follow four principles. We have to develop our consciousness of Krishna. And to do that, you have to take shelter, first of all, of a representative of Krishna. We have to find out a teacher to guide us and to help us on the path to becoming a devotee of Krishna. Hmm. So, initiation is the process of beginning that education, that training of developing our consciousness of Krishna. Initiation means the beginning, the beginning of our strict practice of the principles of Bhakti Yoga. In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna has described a, a, a yoga ladder. How there's a progression from the, the basic platform of material life onto the spiritual platform. From the beginning of human life to the spiritual platform. We have to develop our, our spiritual consciousness. People have consciousness, but most people are just like the animals, only animal consciousness. Animal consciousness is where is food, where is sleep, where is sex, and how to defend. Where is food? Where is sleep? Where is sex? And how to defend. 
哪里有防卫，怎么样去防卫。So that is animal life, but human life is meant for something more than that. Human life is meant for inquiry, to ask, who am I? Why am I here? Where am I going? When we give up this body at the time of death, what happens? Where do we go? Educated people can understand that the body is only the dress, but within the body there is the spiritual particle, the self or the soul. We want to develop our consciousness as a spiritual being, not just as some material body. The material body is like the dress, and just as we give up the old dress, we put on the new dress, we give up the old body, we put on the new body. So we want to awaken consciousness First of all, that we're not the body, that we are all souls, then we want to understand about the Supreme Soul. Behind this whole material world, there is a controlling there's a controlling energy, a controlling personality. When we look at the world, we look at the planets, we see there is so much order, there are signs of creation. Creation means there must be a person who created. So we want to know who is that person. So the Vedic literature described to us about the nature of that creator that being who is responsible for the creation. Some people think creator must simply be some energy. Every, they think everything just comes from energy. But we understand that that energy, even that the energy must belong to someone. It comes from a person. Can hear me? Voice is breaking, huh? Uh, yeah, now it's clear. Okay, so I yeah, said... Sometimes breaking. Yeah. I said that we have to understand that, that energy which is used for creation... Haribo? Can you hear me okay? Yeah? Can you hear me okay? Yes. 
that energy which is used for creation comes from a person. Just as we are persons, the person behind this world is also, there's a person behind this world also. We are imperfect persons, but the Creator is the perfect person. We want to understand more about the nature of that Creator. We want to know about His activities and His character and His qualities. So the Vedic literature guide us to help us to get this information. Human life is very special that it's only in the human form of life we can understand this thing, these things. Animals, they don't have that ability to understand. They don't have any philosophy, they don't have any religion. They just simply know eating and sleeping. And if people, only, if people are only interested in these things, then there's no difference between them and an animal. Srila Prabhupada used to say, the dog runs on four legs and the human runs on four wheels. But the purpose is the same. They're thinking the same thing. The human and the dog, the, where is food, where is sleep? Where is sex? So we, we want to come to a higher platform to understand the nature of the soul, our spiritual nature. So there's a process by which we do that, and that process is the practice of bhakti yoga. Bhakti yoga involves chanting the holy name of Krishna, chanting the maha mantra. Bhakti and we learn the science of bhakti yoga under the guidance of a bona fide teacher. A bona fide teacher is one who is trained by his own teacher, who had a teacher himself, who studied under a teacher, and he learned from his teacher. Just like I studied under my teacher, Bhaktivedanta Swami. I met him in England, in London, in 1971. Many of you were not even born. So 
So I have been practicing bhakti yoga since that time. Also, my spiritual teacher, he studied under his spiritual teacher. You have to understand there's a line of teachers which goes all the way back for thousands of years. And the original teacher is Lord Krishna himself. Lord Krishna gave the Vedic knowledge to Lord Brahma, who is the first person in the universe. And Lord Brahma passed this knowledge on. Lord Brahma had many sons, and one of his sons was a very great devotee named Narada. And then Narada had many disciples. One of his disciples was Vyasa. And Vyasa, he wrote, he had all the Vedic literatures written down for the benefit of people in this age. Vyasa understood at the because Vyasa was Vyasa appeared at the beginning of the Kali Yuga, so it, he understood what was going to happen in the Kali Yuga. He knew that people in this age have, would have very bad memories. Previously, people would come to the Guru and they would stay with the Guru and they would hear from him and they would remember everything they heard. So, nowadays people don't remember anything and they don't go to the Guru. The Guru has to come to them. So in this age, we have a short life. We don't live very long. We're generally very lazy and we're also very unlucky. We're always disturbed by our mind and senses. And we're easily cheated and misled into wrong paths. So we, you have, all of you, all of us, we have to be very careful about what we do and think very carefully. Don't just be foolish and do anything, do what, don't just do whatever you think is right, but study carefully and try to understand. 
不要做你认为你是正确的，而我们应该去好好的学习，去应该怎么做。So we're teaching bhakti yoga, and the process requires cultivating transcendental knowledge, along with detachment from the material existence. We learn Krishna Yoga. 同时，也要保持对物质世界的不依附。Transcendental knowledge is contained in our scriptures, beginning with the Bhagavad Gita. 超然的知识在呃，这以《佛家梵歌》作为基础。And then we go on to study Srimad Bhagavatam, and then there's an, another another book, Chaitanya Charitamrita. 在这之后，我们学习《圣典佛家瓦谈》，而在这之后，我们学习《柴塔尼亚查瑞塔米瑞塔》永恒的《柴塔尼亚经》。We have many wonderful literature for the inquisitive person to study and to get more knowledge. 我们有很多的经典，让我们学习更多的知识。And we have to also cultivate some. Detachment from the material existence. 同时，我们应该也培养一些对物质世界存在不依附的这种品质。That means cultivating some humility. 这意味着我们得培养一些谦卑。As devotees, we learn to bow down and to respect each other. Devotees be, like to become the, the servant. They want. They don't want to be the master. They like to be the servant. The position of the servant is more glor, is better, is more pleasing than being the master. 做一个仆人，比这一个仆人更取悦他人。Lord Krishna is the original master of everything, everyone. 主 Krishna 是原初的主，是所有人原原初的那一位主。But Lord Krishna saw that his devotees are getting more pleasure than him. 但是 Krishna 发现。So he also wanted to become. Lord Krishna also decided he wanted to become the servant also. So Lord Krishna also decided he wanted to become the servant also. Therefore, five hundred years ago, Lord Krishna came as Lord Chaitanya. And Lord Chaitanya is teaching everyone to be the servant of the servant of the servant, to be very humble. Lord Chaitanya tells all people, we should become servants of servants of servants. We should be very humble. Lord Chaitanya tells all people, we should become servants of servants of servants. We should be very humble. Lord Chaitanya tells all people, we should To teach everyone the importance of chanting the holy name of Krishna. And Lord Chaitanya taught everyone to to awaken their spiritual consciousness through this chanting, and to dance joyfully and exhibit their happiness and their transcendental pleasure. 主 Krishna， 呃，主柴塔尼亚告诉我们，唱诵和跳舞的方式来唤醒我们灵性的这种知觉，同时让我们变得有超然的喜乐。And、Lord Chaitanya also encouraged the distribution of foodstuffs offered to Krishna. 
He liked everyone to taste the spiritual food, not ordinary food, but spiritual food, because it's all offered to Krishna. Offering the foodstuffs to Krishna gives that food spiritual potency. And that spiritual potency enters into our body, into our heart, through the mouth enters into our body and purifies our consciousness. So these two activities, chanting Hare Krishna and taking Krishna Pusada, very are very, very important and very powerful. I know you all like Krishna Pusadam, I'm sure. In the beginning, when Srila Prabhupada first came to the Western country, he was cooking for all the devotees. Devotees would come and Prabhupada would cook for them and everyone would enjoy eating the nice prasadam. And Prabhupada then trained the devotees, he trained the people the men who were coming, he trained them how to cook, and then they took over, and they would cook. I remember when I first used to come to China, I used to bring with me one pot and one stove. And I, I was cooking for myself every day. For some time, I had a job there in China, teaching English in one of the colleges, and people would come and eat food with me. I'm, I'm not a great cook, but I know how to cook and that's something, I can cook something. We all have to learn the, the art to cook nice food to offer to Krishna. It's, a, it's part of bhakti yoga, cooking, cleaning, chanting, dancing. Srila Prabhupada liked all the devotees to learn to do these different activities. One, one lady I know, she, for some time she was the secretary of Srila Prabhupada, very, in the very beginning of our movement. She and her husband had joined the movement and they became very close to Prabhupada, and she became like Prabhupada's secretary. I know 
他是非常早期的奉献者，他和他的丈夫两个人非常早的加入了 Krishna 之学。这个女奉献者她是圣帕帕的非常呃近的一位秘书。So one day Prabhupada said to the, the lady, this time she was a young American woman in her early 20s, and Prabhupada said to her, can you make some baked potatoes for me, please? Give her a cow the two dog. And she said to Prabhupada, Oh, Swamiji, I, I don't know how to cook. I don't know any cooking. And Prabhupada looked at her in surprise and said, You're a, a woman? Already twenties in your twenties, you don't know cooking. How is it possible? So from that day on, the woman immediately she immediately decided, I have to learn to cook. And she learned to cook, and later on she was able to cook wonderful meals to give to Prabhupada. Prabhupada himself said he learned his cooking by watching other people cook. So this is one of the devotional arts. This is part of bhakti yoga. Just like we offer worship to Krishna, we have to learn how to worship Krishna. It's not something you just do what you feel like. We have to learn how to actually offer properly the RT. So we have devotees all over the world, in Russia, in Africa, in America, in South America, they all offer, and they all offer RT, and everyone does it to the same standard. We have to learn the proper standards, we have to keep the standards. So today we're going to give some devotees initiation, we're going to give them a spiritual name, and they're also going to make a vow to follow their, the four principles and to do also regular chanting. Someone may be following the principles and they may be chanting, they may not be initiated. So they have not made any commitment to devotional service. Initiation is a very important part of the process of bhakti yoga. It connects us to the disciplic succession. 
启迪是我们奉爱瑜伽的一个很重要的部分，它将我们能够带入师徒传习之中。Everyone should have a spiritual master. Because by the mercy of the spiritual master, we can get the mercy of Krishna. But without that connection to the spiritual master and to the disciplic succession, then it's very difficult to get the mercy of Krishna. 然而，如果没有和灵性导师的连接，没有和师徒传习的连接，我们很难得到 Krishna 的人。We cannot go to Krishna independently, just simply on our own. We need the spiritual master to recommend us to Krishna. 我们不可能一个人独自的去找到 Krishna 那里，我们需要灵性导师推荐我们到达 Krishna 那里。So the initiation into Krishna consciousness is very, very important. Everyone who is practicing Krishna consciousness sincerely, they must take initiation some day, one day. They have to. It is said, everyone, every living entity has a mother and father. But only the fortunate soul has a spiritual master, and by the grace of the spiritual master, he can get Krishna. Initiation is not perfection. It's simply the beginning on the path to perfection. So today we have three devotees taking initiation. We have one in Shanghai. Right, one one is there in Shanghai. So we'll have. So maybe we can have a Yudamanyu present there today. Yudamanyu, today is there? Yudamanyu, can you please introduce? 那个小白，你可以介绍小白给我们。尤达曼纽帕布，您能不能给我们介绍一下白帕布
Thank you. Can she you the man you prabhu? Ah, woman woman when shall buy. Woman say good great fun she shall ma. Make the Indian song do shall twelve. Need a ninja say jelly, can you? In the Ming Zesha, Bindu Madhavadas. Bindu Madhavadas. Bindu Madhavadas. There's a famous, there's a famous deity in the city of Benares called Bindu Madhava. And Lord, Ch Lord Chaitanya instructed Sanatana Goswami in the temple of Bindu Madhava. So, I've got your beads here. <laughs> Bindu Madhava Das Prabhu Ki. All right, Shaiga, woman Yosati Mataji, woman Ching Sati, Ki woman Jeshal, Nabian, Nane, Iga function, Susai Nabian, Junbe Chi Di Sati. Hare Krishna. Oh, Hua Huan, Xie Xie, Xie Xie. Piao Lian. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Good day. Good 
I think by name. So when we went back to Jiao Dai Madaji, when we say the great fun is what? Um, not eating food, not eating food, not eating food, not eating food, not eating uh, Krishna Kumari Devi Dasi. Krishna, Krishna Shudrupadi Gamingsa. Krishna, long A. Krishna Shudrupadi Gamingsa. Kumari means young girl. Kumari. So Krishna Kumari Devi Dasi. Need to make need a ninju. Need a ninju Zai Jelly. Krishna Kumari Devi Dasi ki. Jai. Jai ga woman dao nega. Chanchala Mataji na ben. Chanchala. Ah, ding by Chanchala. Oh, Huan Huan, go, Shishia. Chanchala give woman just show not be any good functions that you yell to D. That's your name, Mingza? Sundar Subhadra Devi Dasi. Sundar Subhadra Devi Dasi Ki Jai. Need a ninja. Bama Gini. Well, my dang functions are lined up in this year. I'm going to get the name of the guy. I'm going to get the name of the guy. 
Okay. So, Sangharan, Shodau Chiti, woman. We want all the devotees, please give them your blessings and encourage them, keep them in Krishna consciousness. Help them to get the mercy of Srila Prabhupada and Lord Krishna. So that they can also go back to Godhead. Okay, thank you all very much. Srila Prabhupada, Ki Jai. Jai. Go back to Vrinda Ki. Jai. Go Premanandi. Hare Krishna. Hare Hare Bhav. Hare Bhav. Hare Krishna, good day. Yeah, Hare Bo. Dimbani, Dimbani, I want to ask you, they want to ask you, what do you want to ask you? Uh, uh, what the cook, uh, what woman, 12 hours to 1 hour, 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 